This is going to be how to work on problem number four, complete the table where sometimes you have pH, sometimes you have concentration of hydrogen, and sometimes you have concentration of hydroxide ion, and then determine whether it's an acid or a base solution. Well, we know that acids have pHs less than seven, and bases have pHs greater than seven. And so the first thing we can do is we know we have a pH right there that's greater than seven. So that means we have a base. Although it's so close to seven that you could also put essentially neutral, but it is slightly basic. And we already know that because 4.32 is less than seven, uh, that it's going to be for a, it's going to be an acid. Uh, but how do we move from one? So how do we move from say pH to concentration of hydrogen? Well, um, to do that, we know that pH equals minus log of the concentration of hydrogen. And then if we tend to the both sides, and at the same time move this minus sign to the other side, we get 10 to the and log cancel out we're left with concentration of H plus equals 10 to the minus pH. So 10 to the minus pH is how you get to hydrogen ion concentration. And hydrogen, just to make this point, and hydronium are used equally uh, to mean the same thing, depending upon exactly what we're talking about. From there, well, there's a couple different ways to go. You can use that Kw equals concentration of hydronium or H plus. Times concentration of hydroxide. So that's true. You can also use that if you have the pH, you can say pH plus pOH equals 14. You have the pH, so you can find the pOH, and then use this equation similar to the one we just derived, concentration of hydroxide equals 10 to the minus pOH. So between this, these here, and just the regular old pH, equals minus log concentration of hydrogen ion, you should be able to move back and forth between all of these different concentrations and pHs.